Hi, right, welcome to Holsey Side Road. This one features the great blog Suka Nature. www.kalsuka.blogspot.com. You can check him on his website www.kalsuka.com. Insects. HTM. And here is a little bit from his blog. I like what he says. He says, Come in, I've been expecting you. Welcome to Stoker Nature. Enjoy your visit. Beware of the raptor. And this one is about his new book published today Stoker Nature Book Altered Entered Elephants, Locust Dragons and other cryptic blog beasts. And he's putting it, it's been a long time coming, over eight years, in fact, since I first no, mooted the idea of preserving my, uh, my supernature, supernature blog posts into a permanent hard book format. It's finally here, it is pl- planned be a regular series today, April eighth, April twenty nineteen. It is official publication of Super Super Nature Book One: Antlered Elephants, Locust Dragons, and Other Cryptic Blood Beasts. Where well, I came, first became yoked to the, into the internet by an email account back in nineteen ninety seven, followed by my own official website a year later, created by a late much mauled American cryptozoologist Scott T. Norman. Instead of firstly he remained immune to the world of online blogging till as relatively recently he turned to uh, 2009, 2019, 20 years for January 20, 2009. It's precise when I finally gave in to the temptation. From after that, for after the Center of Zoology, CSF kindly established it for me in tandem with their own umbrella of CFS affiliated blogs called the CFF Blogo. There was a fateful date upon which a short item titled Wolves of the Weird became the first of what currently stands to be at over 600 illustrated articles of varying lengths and exceedingly varied subjects been researched, written and uploaded by me and onto my own unique blog. As many loyal readers will confirm, Supernature is devoted to cryptozoology, zoomorphology, animus animals, animal anonymies, unnatural history of every kind, as well as some investigations and reviews of certain obscenely zoophobic entities that may be paranormal, supernatural identity, rather than the corporal creatures of zoology. It's also enabled me to review various in progress and forthcoming books of mine from 2009 onwards, and via its comment section, at the end of each of my articles allows readers to post their thoughts, opinions, and information, therefore becoming a valuable source of original ideas, news, and data. Knowing that my blog could, contents would, would cover a vast variety of subjects, and that they would be written in my own particular style, embedded and um, incorporated my unnecessary to conform to any other specific style convention, is so often the case when writing and its specific publishers or publications poses exposed a special problems for me with regard to what my blog name would be. However, I possibly came up with a little that would encompass the other subjects in a succulent yet divine manner. It also has emphasized that as many that, that, that is my writing penned to my style. In fact, it just turned out I didn't come up with such a title. Someone else did. The person was fellow cryptozoologist and CSF colleague Ollie Lewis. After hearing what I've been having trouble, so we'll title for any my blog. He achieved which to me what to me just seemed impossible, suggesting if it 
Every comment covered every subject, incorporated a direct reference to me in it, and went there much more besides. Yet in Kuri, did all this work by way of just a single word, and the word which indeed came by my blog's title, Sukha Nature. Well, he was never this close that inspirations which are indeed a truly inspired suggestion, but because he and I have so many generations, I think it's likely that a certain book, and, and also quite possibly a certain song, that both achieved considerable fame during our youth may have played their part unconsciously or otherwise. If you're interested to read more or learn more, I shall give you the link to the, this fantastic book by Carl Suka. Thank you for listening.